and welcome to another special video review and today we're taking a look at the uh, uh, knockoff transformer lego optimus prime <laughs> so yeah uh, a couple of uh, months ago uh, lego released their first officially um, lego transformable optimus prime which looks pretty damn good but uh, from lego themselves uh, the figure is not cheap for what it is. Uh, the figure goes for about $250 US, which is uh, pretty steep and it's a little bit uh, a little bit high for my taste. But recently, well, not recently, almost a week after it was announced, uh, there were countless KOs on the market of the Optimus Prime Lego set. And uh, during the holidays, um, the uh, the set went for sale for about forty six dollars, including shipping. So that's a uh, eighty percent, almost eighty one percent of sale uh, price uh, compared to the original. So I got it. So I got the knockoff Optimus Prime Lego set. Uh, for $46 instead of the uh, original 250 So we'll be taking a look. Is it as good? We'll see. We have the instructions right here. And the instructions looks pretty good. They are uh, Lego instructions. I'm just skipping through pages. But it does look uh, pretty uh, good. Like a normal, nothing different, nothing complicated. We do have stickers right here which is pretty cool and you can see like it's the official it's the same i'm not sure about the uh, the instructions if, if they are the same but they are pretty cool so yep yeah, and it will transform we do have the jetpack we do have the plate so yeah it does look uh, very legit we have Anadron cube, the matrix, the gun, the axe, uh, the plate, everything. So there you go. And we had a transformation here for uh, vehicle mode with the storage of the gun. So yeah, even the transformer, everything has been knocked off. So yeah, like I said, we'll be taking a look. We have tires right here. We've got a bunch of bags. It's all mixed up. So yeah, we do have numbers on the bag. I hope they all follow. Uh, the instructions because I have no idea where to start so yeah I'm gonna do a sort of small uh, video log as I start building it and uh, we'll come back uh, doing a follow-up all right so first little update I've got the upper torso and I guess the lower torso torso done so we got rotating joints we got the opening torso here oh that's pretty cool missing the matrix uh, we have the that thing here that rotates so I guess the head goes here so yeah not uh, it doesn't seem a lot but that took me about three hours <laughs> and the reason why it took me so long is that uh, I don't know if the original is like that but the KO has no order in the bags usually when you you do a, a Lego set they tell you like okay the following steps here will be bag number five where uh, for example and so all the pieces you're looking for uh, that part will be in bag number five with this one by uh the fifth step literally five step all the bag had to be open you had pieces everywhere in every single bag uh, so yeah my, my table is just so filled with containers pieces everywhere I had to open all the bags to uh, get going with my build because, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> uh, usually uh, when I, uh, I bought a lot of knockoff Lego kits and usually they all have an order, like I said, like uh, for doing legs, the legs have the bag at number five, for example, so all the pieces for the legs are in the bag number five, so you only open bag number five and everything should be included. But uh, yeah, this one by step five, all the all the bags needed to be open. I couldn't find pieces anywhere, so it took a lot of time. And yeah, you can see now I'm starting to classify by color, uh, just by working on it, because I don't know, it seems to be a little bit better, uh, except uh, 
my containers are red and the pieces the red pieces don't go in because oh my god my heart my eyes hurts <laughs> but uh, yeah that's pretty much it so far so good I'm not missing any pieces I, I i read a lot online where uh, people buy uh knockoffs legos where they're missing a lot of pieces and so far it hasn't happened to me a single time yet so i maybe i'm lucky or maybe just people uh, stop looking for them after a while. I mean, some pieces in there I will look for maybe an hour. <laughs> and like, there's like only a single piece that I'm looking for and I just can't find it. it oh, uh, after an hour of looking around, I find it. So, mm. <laughs> happens a lot. That's the Legos, uh, the Lego lifestyle, so I guess. So yeah, two or three hours just for this. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take a little break and uh, continue on later on and uh, make another road leap later on so maybe like two hours more and I finish uh, the uh, bumper and the arms and the head so yeah pretty cool uh, it does have pretty much all the same articulation as the original so that's pretty cool uh, I'm quite surprised it does support the same uh, official logo as the Lego even the eyes they were like printed on, not stickers. So yeah, the only stickers was like the bumper right here. So that's pretty cool. I mean, highly illegal and probably someone would uh, get into a lot of uh, legal troubles for this, but for a knockoff, you know, it's really impressive. <laughs> Everything is set up like as the original. The only exception, and I confirmed this, I, I checked on the web, uh, it's like uh, when I said like all the pieces were like uh, not in the uh, perfect order in uh, the bags. It, w it I was exactly right. Uh, the official has numbered bag, and for example, building the uh, backpack, uh, you needed the the bag number seven. For example, I I'm just saying like that. And uh, so you just open bag seven, and all the pieces for this were inside it, but not in the knockoff. The knockoff, it, all the pieces are randomly sorted maybe like by size and that's it <laughs> so yeah like I said by step five I had to uh, to to just uh, open all the bags I had to uh, have all the bag open to uh, to you know just do the torso so yeah I, I didn't go in the order in the uh, manual uh, the order were like uh, the torso the waist and then the legs I skipped the leg mostly because uh, since I had sort of all the red parts on my table, it was filled up. I just continued knowing that the arms were red, so I just moved on to the arms instead. And right now is the backpack has some red, so of course I'm just going to continue with the backpack. And then I'll move to the legs. So, yeah, it's just saving some time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to continue and come back. So another quick update, I finish all the accessories, so we have the jetpack here, again with the uh, Autobot logo, that's pretty cool. We have the uh, thrusters that can move, that's pretty cool, we have clips here so we can clip it in the back. Uh, what do we have? We have the plate, again with the Autobot logo, kind of cool. We have uh, uh, the Energon cube, uh, cute, okay. Uh, we have the cannon, which just looks really nice. And we have the axe. The axe is a little bit brittle, so be careful with that. It's uh, very fragile, but uh, it works, I guess. I'm not a not big fan of this. Well, yeah, the figure already shown it, and it's actually pretty darn big for a figure, uh, the uh, for the Lego build, you know? Pretty huge. So, uh, I also have thighs done. So if you want to see how to install, you have like these uh, three holes here. You have these three pegs. So just line and come on. <laughs> I just exploded everything. Where's the leg? <laughs> so uh, yeah, like this. Oh geez. Yeah, it just exploded everything, of course. So this goes like this. I have the wheel right here that goes uh, somewhere here, I guess. Yeah. Like this. 
All right, take two then. <laughs> this, whoops. Uh, well, of course, everything just falls off. So there you go. We have the waist here, and try not to put any stress on this. There you go. And this pegs in here, so yeah, it doesn't want to stay too in too much. Oh, I forgot because this part right here fell. So this goes here. There you go, more solid. So let's do the same on the other side. Peg this in here. Yeah, much easier. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we have the legs that go like this. We do have uh, rotation, which is super solid. So yeah, these goes here. So voila, we have the arms. So we have the thighs. Again, with the backpack here, you can just take this, put the uh, sort of a thing here inside, and then you just peg this in here, and there you go. You have the backpack. Kind of hard to see, but there you go. And as for the cannon, you need to remove the hand, well, the cannon and the axe, and bring this down like this, and you have, like, in the hand right here, you have uh, kind of a X where you just slide the X inside of here. I'll try and do it right here like this. You need to hold the arm because there you go. So you have the X in here. Kind of cool. And as for the cannon, you just remove this, flip this back up, put the hand back on. One. Is it fighting me so much on camera? There you go. And just for the uh, the hand itself, uh, the, the the cannon, you need to use this right here and peg it on to the arm right here like this. There you go. And then you can just close the fists on it. And there you go. Oops, <laughs> the backpack just fell off. But yeah, there you go. You just peg this back in. So, yeah, there you go. So, I'm going to continue. Uh, I started working on the legs, and this is how I am right now. So, I'm taking a little break now, so I'm going to bed. Continue tomorrow. So, <laughs> next update. So, I finally completed it, and uh, holy crap, he is huge! <laughs> so, yeah, everything went fine. Uh, nothing, nothing is missing. Everything is good. Instructions were okay. Uh, the bag were just... A little bit uh, messed up. I do have some bunch of pieces left. All of those. Uh, I do have this uh, plate here because we can exchange the bumper. So when you transform it, you can have a normal bumper or the orange thing. I don't. I don't really mind the orange thing. So I'm just gonna leave it here and keep the sticker. So yeah, I've got that for our extras. So yeah, uh, really cool. Uh, build took me. I don't know, maybe like five, five hours plus, maybe eight hours. <laughs> yeah, but I have a problem. I just did that in almost <laughs> two sittings. <laughs> so yeah, really cool. I did show the uh, accessories. So yeah, we do have all the accessories here. So we have the inner drum cube, the axe, the plate, the gun, the backpack. I already show all that. So, yeah, not much else to show. Uh, like I said, the arms are a little bit loose. Come over here, this is a little bit loose. I'm a bit disappointed by this, but everything else is pretty solid. The legs does move and they are very solid. Uh, we do have rotation here. Uh, we should have movement here, but we don't. Um, the feet can tilt, so that's cool. Uh, this is cool, we can have also a tilt at the leg. So, yeah, very nice. We have the wheels, you have the gas tanks. Uh, we can actually transform this. I'm trying to, but yeah, the, the camera is really in the way. But uh, yeah, we can try and transform. So first up, we want to bring, I'm gonna try and do this on camera, but yeah, first bring the arms like this, bring the thumbs over like this, the, the hands, whoops, wanna bring them like this. Thing like this, yeah. So, same thing on the other side. So, bring the elbow straight like this, bring the thumb, oops, 
over like this, close the hand like this, like that. Next up, I'm trying, <laughs> it's really hard. You lift up the bumper like this, flip all of this. You can see the torso all you want to rotate, so rotate it all the way around. I already lost a piece. So I'll come over here, I just lost a piece of the foot right here. So I'll come over here. It's Lego, so yeah, you gotta be careful. Some stuff will pop out easily. Uh, come on, boy. There you go. So feet, you can close them like this. Like this. Bring the legs. Like Rotate them all the way around like this. All the way around like this. And then you can peg the leg together right, right here. We have a couple of pegs. Peg them together. So we have that. And now we can start to fit in a little bit more on camera. So let's move the camera a bit down. Oh yeah, tank, you move them straight like this. Come over here. The arms go like this, and just keep popping out the bumper and everything. Jeez, and it's Lego. And now the head, everything just popped out. Why? <laughs> this goes in here. Why is everything popping out on video? Everything was fine earlier. Alright, we try. So open up the arm, flip the head all the way around like this, flip this in the back, lift the uh, bumper here, bring the arm up, bring the hand down like this and bring the hand completely down on, like so. Do the same thing on the other side so let's flip this all the way around. So bring the arm straight like this, bring the arm up, flip this down, flip this a little bit down, not too much for now, bring it all the way in and then bring the hand down, flip the tank and then you bring this down, close this and then bring this and voila we have the truck all done. And yeah he is pretty big, uh, we do have some storage, <laughs> of course the wheel pop, there you go. So uh, we do have storage for the pistol, so you just close this and place it in here. There you go, stores pretty perfectly. I don't know what there is, that goes, <laughs> just popped out somewhere. But yeah, with the truck is really nice, does roll. Very cool. Uh, I did forgot to show it, but yeah, we do have the Matrix here. And the Matrix doesn't hold too much, so yeah, just close it, close it, voila. <laughs> Only a really cool truck. Transformation is okay, it's basic, but uh, it works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. He's very nice. Very fragile though, because uh, you know, it's Lego, so be careful with that. But otherwise, still pretty cool and really fun figure. So yeah, I recommend. I mean, for $46 compared to the uh, over uh, the overhaul price that it actually sells, this is knockoff. I highly recommend it. It's fine. It's nice. It's cool. It's everything the uh, the original is, except much, 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 much cheaper. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, uh, uh, if you're looking for it, just go on AliExpress and uh, you can type Optimus Bricks, and there's tons of them, and you're gonna find this one. Be careful because there's lots of uh, weird stuff going on over there. There's like some sort of differences, but yeah, like I said, mine, I paid $46, one. it was on sale, but you should find it pretty close by to the same price, and uh, yeah, compared to the, uh, I, I think right now it sells for 150 full price on sale, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I saw like 250 the normal prices, so it's just crazy, but this, $46, totally worth it, not missing a piece, everything pegs in perfectly, just really cool figure so yeah otherwise uh yeah you know the song like subscribe leave a comment blah blah, blah. i right, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time